Welcome back. Today we're looking at the world of high fashion. Whoa, how good is the peplum on this hat lamp? If you don't know what peplum is, bloody educate yourself. Oh, down she goes. That was predictable. Lamps are meant to be stationary and clothes are meant to allow for movement. So it's no wonder this design is a shit sandwich. What a depressing lamp. Look at this bloke. He knows that when it comes time to pump it down the runway, you need to pump it fucking hard. Look at the saunter, the swag. When you're this confident, the clothes just work. People won't ask you dumb questions like, why do you have so many keys? And what's the ETA on shaving your inner thighs? Next up, power dressing. Red's a real power colour. Feel your oats, strut your stuff, but don't overcook it. Oh, she overcooked it. Hey, I like that sarong. It looks bloody comfy. 10 out of 10, I would free ball in that at a Bali villa. Don't be confused. The cat licking its asshole is the catwalk coach for this fashion show. Oi, Karen, that's not what I taught you. Watch me, everyone. Heel, toe, heel, toe, head, up, constant gait. Work it, yas, yas, queen. Engage crowd and turn. What are you doing? You are fucking it up. That was a horrible turn. Take that weak shit home, bitch. I'm bored. I'm so bored by you, I'm scratching my neck. Sorry, everyone. Are there marbles on the runway here? This is like watching a baby giraffe learning to walk. Here comes the drop. Oh, someone is helping her. That's rare when a model fucks up. Usually everyone ignores them and wants them dead. That may still happen, but at least one wanker cares. What a fair dinkum, real human being. You can always tell the person that hasn't shown up for rehearsals because they fall through the stage. Yeah, these models are professional. They're not helping her. She's gonna get killed. As Coco Chanel's famous saying goes, as you leave the house, take one thing off. Then steal a bunch of roof thatching and wear it as a hat. That's a verbatim quote. I'm pretty sure this design is inspired by the Primitive Technology YouTube channel. Why buy a house when you can wear one on your head? Nothing says chic like a bowling ball in a bag, and nothing says wizard like a bald cap and a patchy beard. I reckon the ancient bowling wizard look will eventually catch on. Give it time. High fashion is always ahead of the times. Yeah, fuck me. This is what we're going to look like in the year 3000. I'm excited. We're going to be pale and malnourished, but the parties will be fun. Ooh, yes. I love a good ready-to-wear collection. This would be fantastic in summer. Shotgun not being the human head plug. This one is confronting. It's like two overgrown leeches mating violently with a ginger man trapped between them. The world will never be ready for this one. It's far too impractical. This Sheila is going, yeah, nah, 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 nah. This is more like it. It looks cumbersome initially. Wait for it, though. One quick adjustment turns a party balloon into a ripper summer dress. Fuck yes, couture fashion. Fuck yes. He's heading to the pub to have a drink with his ancient bowling wizard friends and everyone in the industry that's been fired for making one mistake. Oh. 